Hello, dear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Scram! You're... Oh, hello. What? I tip my hat to you! Good day to you. Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I am back with another video. In today's video we are doing Dreamlight Valley again. Um, so we have part number five here. Uh, I did a little bit of playing off camera and I kind of regret doing that because now I'm so addicted and I can't stop playing off camera. <laughs> um, but I upgraded my house a little bit so I have a new outside look to it. Um, and then also if you go inside of it, it looks a little bit different on the inside as well. I did some renovations and just made it look a little bit better. So I laid down some of the wood flooring, changed the uh, walls, I put the fireplace that Goofy gave me um, in here as well and just kind of put some, some furniture out as well so it just looks a little bit different and a little bit better. But yeah, I kind of was trying to not play so much off camera but there is some repetitive things so that's why I was playing off camera um so yeah and then I got hooked and I can't stop so let me t show you what I did so if you saw kind of the beginning of the um part you saw that I unlocked a few new worlds um I did get another orb and place that down we do have some of the thorns also Moana is like my best buddy she comes around me all the time I like that she's uh helps me with mining so I think I should have done that for like everyone's thing um because I mine a lot and I don't really find myself doing a lot of the other stuff yet yeah so I find 
like I said, I find myself doing a lot of more mining um, than anything else. So yeah, I built up my friendship with Moana a lot quicker than the other uh, villagers, the other characters, I guess I should say, not villagers. Um, also, my goal for today is to get a little sea turtle as my companion because I read online that you can make anything your companion and you can unlock the different um, companions. So I really want a sea turtle. <laughs> So they like seaweed. So I'm going to see if this works. So I'm going to try to find some seaweed and like lay it down for them and see if that works. Um, because they like seaweed and I think if you offer it to them, they'll eat that. Um, and then I, I'm not sure how many times you have to do it before they become your companion, but we will find that out today because that is my goal for this episode is to have a little turtle follow me around. Uh, okay, let's pick that up. Um, and I think I unlocked how to do like different paths and stuff around the eye, um, around the valley. So um, I don't see any seaweed here. Uh, let's see. I don't see any seaweed. Um, let's go to the other side of the beach and see if we see any seaweed over there. I should probably actually get rid of those rocks too. Oh my gosh, yeah, just so, I'm so obsessed with this game, like I said, I can't stop playing it, and I play it so much on my own, uh, and I'm trying not to, but I'm just so addicted, and then it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying not to, though. Uh, I don't know what all this sand is for, but I'm assuming it's useful at some point here. Uh, let's see if there's any more rocks. I'm sure that there are. I think I'm missing some. Um, I guess not. Okay, let's go to the other side of the beach so that way there I can see if I can find some seaweed. If not, I'll probably do a little bit of fishing just so I can get some seaweed so I can lay it down for the turtles. All right, you guys. So I did place down the seaweed so that way there I could approach the turtle. <laughs> so let's see. I don't really know. I don't have any more seaweed in my pouch. So um, maybe try to feed them this. Did they like that? I'll race you guys. I think I got the correct seaweed now to uh, feed the turtle. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, can you talk to me, please? Okay, let's try and feed it the seaweed. Um, oh, so happy. Okay. So he loves it. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. Neat. Okay, can we feed it again? Maybe we'll make it a companion. I love my little red squirrel, but it would be nice to have a little seaweed, I mean a seaweed, a little sea turtle. All right, well maybe it will have to be like several days. I don't know, it didn't really specify online. Um, I really want that purple one though. So that's why I'm trying to un unlock that one first because I really want this little purple one so much. But if you saw the beginning, you saw I opened up this area over here. I'm kind of sad about it because I can't get over the bridge. Um, over there's a certain bridge I think it's over here um, I have to wait until I level up my friendship with Merlin to be able to cross over here so we can explore a little bit more um, you have to get some sort of special watering can so you can take care of the mushrooms which is really annoying but I do have to do that uh, and then um, we also unlocked this area over here, which I really want to explore in this episode, but I'm really like obsessed with making, oh, I can't do that yet. Um, there's another area over on the other side of the beach. Um, let me go there so I can show you. Uh, and it's a whole brand new area. There's a quest over there that I have to do so we can kind of unlock this a little bit more in this episode. Um, it just seems like there's a little bit more to explore over there. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, Moana, my bestie. How are you? <laughs> oh, and we do have uh, Maui now, which I did place him down. And I'm pretty sure you saw maybe a little bit of the clip, not the clip of me placing down his house. Um, but I did because it was creating a bit of a problem. I didn't realize I had to put it in the water. Uh, but yeah, you can you can go into his house now. So his house is over here and then Ursula's house is over there. I did place her house down as well. So really exciting. But Maui's now here so he can help us out and, and restore the valley. But uh, we also have over on this side, we have some more area that we can explore. And I want to do that today. I unlocked it. Um, 
and I'm just really excited about it. So I really want to explore this area. I think Elsa lives here. So I'm really excited to see how that goes, but um, we'll explore a little bit more. I'm going to just work on this turtle for a little bit off camera and see if we can get him as a companion because I really want a new companion. I don't care. Like I feel bad about the little squirrel and I, I'm going to miss him, but we can always go back to him if we want later. But for right now, I just want a new companion and I really want this purple turtle. So I'm gonna try and work on that. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just, we'll go explore the other side of the map. All right, you guys. So we are going to head over to that new area that I unlocked. Um, I kind of read up on it and you have to just feed the animals every single day in order to get them to become your companion at some point, which I kind of forgot how I even got the red squirrel, but I guess cause I was feeding him every single day. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but uh, as of right now, oh, sorry, I missed it. As of right now, let's go over to this foresty area. There are some raccoons in here, and I read that you have to kind of approach them um, kind of quietly and like just don't spook them. So we're going to see, I saw one running in the distance. I really want to just get new <laughs> companions, so I'm going to have to do this kind of every day. Just make it like a daily thing, so that way there I can get new companions. So I fed the turtles already. Um, and I fed whatever turtles were over there, I fed the um, purple one and the white one. So apparently with the turtles, different colors happen on different days. So the purple ones are Tuesdays, Thursdays, oh gosh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and another day, I can't remember right now. <laughs> um, but you just have to make sure that you kind of go around and just feed all of the different colors of turtles so you can get them. Oh, nice. Okay, so I did get them all. Sorry, it's hard to talk when I'm doing that little challenge thing. Um, okay, so yeah, so just pay attention to like what days the different um, colored turtles come. Uh, so that way there you can collect them all and then you can just have companions. And the companions don't really do much, like they don't really help you, but they are just really cute and you can kind of pet them from time to time and just, um, yeah just love on them basically <laughs> and they just follow you around which is just super cute so oh there's a raccoon okay let's see if i can approach them so they're really timid and they like to like scatter like away but let's see if i can let's see if i can approach them oh no nope, he's gonna run away dang it okay well that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Those ones I may have to do off of camera because I just feel like it's a lot and really tedious to be able to approach them just like the alligators. Um, there is a red alligator over in the um, glade area so I'm going to have to go and do that with him and just try to approach him and feed him a lobster. That's his favorite food. So I don't have any lobsters. I caught one yesterday so I'll have to try to figure that out today. Um, and get him a lobster. Oh, there's a little white one. Oh my gosh, stop it. Oh, they're gonna run away. Well, let me just clean all of this up. I'm gonna get Goofy's stall going over here, um, and then we can enter the house that's here. Uh, I do have a quest that's in here as well, so I'm assuming I'm gonna unlock some characters if I do the quest, um, which will be exciting, but let's go ahead and do that. So I will catch you guys when we go enter the house. Alright you guys, sorry I was out kind of like clearing up all of these thorns and I actually found a new character so I want to go interact with him and just um, see uh, what he needs. I feel like it has something to do with that orb that's, you know, just kind of floating there. Um, but we'll see and I think it's kind of cool. This area is kind of cool because you can see the whole town square from up here. Um, and that's cool, we got a little winter hat. Um, but it's kind of neat that you can kind of see the whole uh, town square from up here. So I can't wait to unlock the bridge to be able to go and walk over there. Um, but let's talk to oh, him hey. first and see if there's a quest that we need. Someone's here. Wait, someone's here. Woohoo. Yeah. Sorry, I've been lost in these woods for so long. What are you doing in the woods? Well, Donald Duck and I were searching for the valley for something to help fight the night thorns and stop the forgetting. Huh. But I sort of lost him, or maybe he lost me. How did you lose Donald <laughs> Duck? It's actually easier than you think of. Yeah. We were here in the Forest Valor when the night thorns began to block us in. And 
That's when we saw the dark entity removing the orb of courage from the forest of pillar. Dark entity? It must have been the forgotten. Ursula warned me about oh. this. Never heard of them. But whoever it was, they didn't seem friendly. Out of the blue, they just opened a, a doorway and stepped through it. That dark portal over there. Then Donald ran right through the portal, chasing after the dark entity. That was brave. <laughs> brave, maybe foolish, definitely. That's what it is. I tried to follow him, but he yelled at me to stay put and guard his back. I wanted to argue with him, but you really can't win that fight with Donald oh. Duck. And that's the last time I saw him. It's been so long. I hope he's all oh. right. Hey, if you were able to remove the thorns and find me, maybe you're powerful enough to go through the portal and save him. Never fear, I'm <laughs> on it. Whoa, I wish you'd come to the valley a long time ago. There's something special about you. I don't know why, but I know you can do this. Just step through the portal and don't worry. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. See ya. Oh my gosh, okay, so we gotta go through the portal. All right, so we entered the portal. Let's pick up the feather. So the portal's right there, so I guess we can go back if we want to. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do here. Um, I guess keep going forward. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, we just had to pick that vile herb up, um, I think, and then go give it back, possibly. That looks like one of Donald's feathers. I hope nothing happened to him. The portal leads to a dark grove. The dark grove is full of mist. <sighs> okay, there's no way you're getting through that thick mist without something to help lead you to Donald. It's too dangerous. You'll get lost. Trust me, I've been there. Done that. Uh... A dark grove? That sounds like the valley's forest, but darker? What could that place be? You should bring the feather you found to Merlin. Maybe he knows some kind of magic that'll help you track Donald in that dark grove. Hey, thanks. All right. I'll go talk to Merlin, even though he always runs away from me. <laughs> so I'm going to go check out that house. I think that's Kristoff's house. Um, so I'm going to go check it out because I think... I don't know who else is here, but I, I'm pretty sure this is Kristoff's house over here. So, But it's so pretty. I mean, like, look how pretty it is. Oh, there's something here. Okay, let's dig this up. I really like to check out the villagers' houses. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Um, oh no. Memory. It's a puzzle, so we gotta find all those puzzle pieces. I've been finding like lots of puzzles lately. <laughs> all right, let's go in here into Kristoff's house and we'll see what's going on. I don't know where Anna is, but I'm assuming we're gonna have to bring her back somehow. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I love it in here. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my gosh, so many books. Oh, there's a treasure chest. my inventory's full. Well, we'll put these down for right now, and then um, I'll just pick this up. Because it will be gone soon, because it's a piece of clothing or something. Oh my gosh, that sweater is adorable. Um, let's pick that up. This castle is where Elsa lives. No, wait, that's wrong. Only her sister lives here. Annie? Angela? Why can't I remember her name? So this is Anna's house, I guess. But I thought this was Christoph Christoph's. Maybe it's both of theirs? Um, I'm not sure, but I think Anna lives here, so we'll have to go find out how we can get her back, too, because I'll be happy. I'll be happy to get... I'll be happy to get them both back into the valley. So let's go to Merlin and see what we can do with what we found. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to have to feed these animals um, 
by myself just because they are a little bit more scarcer. I don't really have a whole lot of room in my inventory, but I wonder how much 10,000 to, to undo this. And I think this is where Elsa is. 10,000 Dreamlight. Oh my goodness. I also have to work on the castle too and like open more doors. So Anna must live here and then Elsa must live in that snowy area. But I've been just having a lot of fun like exploring and opening the map up a little bit more. So let's go to Merlin, find him and uh, figure out what else we can do. All right, you guys, so I did find Merlin. Um, you know what I like the most about this game is that you can actually find the people on the map. Um, that's my favorite thing. I feel like in Animal Crossing, you have to search high and low to just find your character that you need to talk to. Don't say anything, Lucy. I'm a soothsayer after all. I know what you're here to tell me. How curious. Could I ever... <sighs> my memories of the future are cloudy today. You'll have to tell me. I found Kristoff in the what? forest. Kristoff? <laughs> yes, yes. Isn't the lad who plays the flute? Or is it the Glockenspiel? <laughs> oh my goodness. The loot. Oh yes, the loot. I thought he left the village after the after like the forgetting like everyone else. He must have stayed for a reason. Donald Duck stepped through the dark portal. Oh my, Donald found himself in a portal, you say? Hmm, perhaps a gateway to another world. And this dark grove is full of mist. Could the that portal lead to the same place as the one you saw on the beach? So many questions, but let's make haste. Donald could be in danger. We need a way to find him. Listen I need a way to find Donald. Well, there's only one way to find him. We'll need to create a tracking spell that will work in the dark grove. You'll need a few emeralds to plant a plant from the dark grove and a few dream shards. I'm sure you'll figure out a way to gather everything. A few dream shards, okay. I just made them all into dream light, but that's okay. <laughs> When you're ready to bring them to me, when you're ready, bring them to me. Okay. All right. Let's look around to see what's at the store. I don't know. It's like really hard for me to use words today. I have no idea why I can't. I can't think today. Okay. What is this? Greetings, neighbor. Oh, those are really, really cute. How many? Oh my goodness. Okay, they're not that cute. <laughs> um, Scrooge. Okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I really like anything. That's really pretty. 2,800. Apples, and then chairs, and then that's really cute as well. All right, do I have to talk to him about oh, something? Curse me, kilts. Hard as I try, I can't unlock my blasted safe. Ever since we lost our memories, I can't recall the combination. I let myself I left myself this note under the register with instructions on how to find it again, but I don't remember the answer to the clues. Will you help me jog the old memory? Thank you, and might I say you've a splendid attitude. Now everything you need to know is find my six digit safe combination is on that note. Thank you. Of course I'll help you. <laughs> bye bye now. Alright. We'll we'll figure that out later. Okay. So, okay. Oh, I really like that. Good day to you. Uh, actually, I don't know if I really like that. <laughs> I don't like it now that I've seen it up close. I don't know if I really oh, bye enjoy bye. that very much. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's exit. <laughs> All right, let's look at the quest for Merlin and see if I can um, gather everything for that. Um, because I think that will be pretty awesome if I could do that. So I'm gonna look at the quest and see if I can gather everything for him. All right, you guys. So I found Merlin. He's just hanging out in the shop. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Give him all of the ingredients. Well, hello. Splendid, Lucy. Absolutely splendid. Well, shall we get to the down to business? Alakazam, Alakazoom, make me a tracker for Donald's plume. There, this should do the trick. Just head to the dark grove and follow the enchanted feather. It will guide you in the right direction. Well, 
Okay, run along now. Okay. <laughs> Neat. All right. All right, you guys, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. We're at a good stopping place. I think I'm going to focus on doing um, the Donald uh, part next and uh, just try to free him from that area. And then I'm going to also work on in the next part getting those 10,000 Dreamlight points so that I can unlock that snowy area. Um, but like I said, I'm going to end it right here, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon.